When it comes to planning and preparing and choosing sermon series, it is often much more than just uh, getting the content ready that you're going to preach on a Sunday morning. You also have graphics and videos and bumper videos to think about. And if you're a church planter, all that may stress you out and you may not have the money to do all the things that you may want to do. And so in this episode, we're going to be talking about four free sermon series resources that you can use. Welcome back to Practical Church Planting, where in 15 minutes or less, we'll give you practical tips, advice, and encouragement to help you plant and grow healthy churches. My name is Brian Drozian. Joining me is Dylan Dodson. And today, we're talking about four free sermon series resources. Free is great. Oh, I love and free. And what's also hard about sermon series is it takes a lot of work. Like if you want to create a bumper video or graphics or all these things. Mm-hmm. And so we tried a bunch of stuff yeah. in our almost two years of existence. And I think we've finally got to a good place, but we've also got the people that can kind of make some videos and graphics that we didn't always have sure. in the beginning. And so we always wanted to share some of those resources of what we've done and what we haven't done well. And so I don't know, why don't you just lead us through this list and we'll just kind of talk about yeah, our okay. experience. So <clears throat> what, what we're talking about here is is we're talking more along the lines of uh, sermon series, graphics, videos, creative things. Yes. Not talking so much of sermons yes because that is a different conversation <laughs> um but yeah where you can get uh sermon series or how to create them for cheap or free yeah. so the first one is other churches this might seem like a weird one or an obvious one depending on who you are mm-hmm. but to look to other churches for sermon series or for graphics or for videos um one of the kind of or not one of but mm-hmm. there are a lot of larger churches out there that some people are familiar with, some aren't but that put out a ton of free content for for the purpose of other churches using. Yeah. Some of the more popular ones are ones like Life Church or uh, New Spring Church. They put out uh, sermon packages, sort of, for where free. they have you bumper videos, yep. graphics for for the reason or the the reason for it is for other churches to download and use. Yeah, yeah. And we've used them before, and they're awesome. we've used them. And there's nothing. <clears throat> the, some of the pros of this is they're generally done by professional graphic designers right. or professional videographers and they're super high quality yes depending on the church you go with. but the most of them that i've seen they're mm-hmm. very high quality and better than anything that we at least have the right. ability to and, create and the, yeah again the pros of it are they're free and they're good yeah. and not only does it give you graphics uh, but also give you bumper videos which could be a lot of work yep and <clears throat> kind of what our story is so that, that's the pro of it yeah um the con of it was that is that it does also kind of limit you to what you could do totally now I want, before i talk about that i, I just want to say like and it's not even necessarily the big free ones. Like in the past, we were trying to find uh, bumper videos off of certain sermon series we wanted to do, mm-hmm. and we just Google. I would just Google or you know or uh, yeah Google YouTube whatever like a relationship series bumper video. Yeah. And I would be like, oh, I like that. And I would contact the church and say, hey, we're a church plant. Do you mind if we can use it? Yeah, totally. Nobody said no. <laughs> One church never responded, and so we just used it. Right. We didn't like put on a social media or yeah, anything, but they didn't publicly. say no, and I asked twice, so sorry. Right. Um, other, other couple times, they said yes, they don't mind. And yeah. so that's the great thing is you don't even have to find something. You could just say, I want to do a series on marriage, and you can just type in marriage bumper videos and then see what's available. Now, the con to that is then you do have then, then have to title your series based off the video. Yes. Which was some of the frustrations we were running into is I was like, okay, this is great, but I want to do some series in this direction. And I, w- I want us to title it what, what we want to title it, not what they wanted to title it. And yep. so then you kind of have to have the people to do that. But that's but if you don't, that's a great way to do it. It's not just the, the free ones, which are great. Like we've used stuff from New Spring or Life Church before, mm-hmm. and that you can just download for free. We've asked churches. Um is that, yeah, you don't have to make it and they'll give it to you. Yeah, I think this works really well in kind of, um, I don't know the right way to put this, in for series that a lot of churches do. Like the, the last one that we used was for when we went through the I Am Statements of Jesus. Yeah. And so that's one that it's a great thing to go through. Most churches have gone through the yeah. I Am States <clears throat> Statements of Jesus. So we had a lot to choose from. You know, a bunch of churches have put that out and that was yeah. an easy one to find one that we wanted to use. We used one from New Spring. It was, it was great. Yeah. But when you start going into other ones that are maybe... Uh, more topical or you're kind of focusing right. them on a certain area that you want to focus it on, then it's going to be a little more difficult. Like we did a series on relationships and I didn't really know what to call it, yeah. but then I saw a, cool bumper, a bumper video. I think I saw a graphic first and then I saw a bumper video. So it worked out called relationship rehab. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, that was great. But if I wanted to call it something else, like we couldn't have used that video. So right. we kind of had to call it that, which worked out fine, but that is the con to it. You can't be as choosy with what you want to call it. You got to go with what you can get. And we had talked about for a time <laughs> when, before we kind of knew what, to do knew what other options we could use we talked about focusing our titles more on what um graphics and videos that we could find because yeah yeah, because that's what we had access to which we kind of found 
we weren't a big fan of right. you know but limiting it's, ourselves but it's, like that. it's a good first it's, step it's a good start if you have nothing yeah is to try and you might be able to find out what you want to call you just might have to work a little bit harder yeah um, but if you don't have anybody to help with anything asking churches and trying to find some free stuff is awesome and most of the people will say yes if you reach out and ask so. yeah Cool. So the next one, the second free resource is takes a lot more work, I will say, than the last one. Uh, but is a site called Canva. Yes, and Canva. Canva, and not only that, is that there is a paid version of Canva. Yes. But as yeah, a nonprofit, mm -hmm. you can get that for free. Yeah. So yes, Canva, C A N V A. It's a graphic design um, company, and it's it's all online based. You can go in, and they have all kinds of stuff. It's kind of hard to walk through. I mean, they right. they have templates you can choose from. You can customize things however you want. It's a great free resource. It's pretty limited. I would say if you're a graphic designer, which we are not, but if you if you are, it's a I don't know, Brian. You've become quite the designer. Well, I'm learning. But <laughs> if if you've ever used product like Adobe products, it's definitely way more limited than that. And so there's there's it's definitely limited in things that you can do. However, if you really want to create something your own, or if you have an idea of a series and you can't find any other uh, churches that have done it, and you're kind of stuck in what you want to do. Canva is a good place to start. Yeah. And it's free, and we've free. used it since the very beginning. Mm -hmm. And it is more limiting, but, you know, like us, if you don't have a lot of experience, yeah. the templates and pre-made stuff make it really easy to use. It is extremely user-friendly, which <clears throat> and I've heard actual graphic designers recommend it because yeah. of how user-friendly it is. It's you, it's something that you can catch on in a matter of 10, 15 minutes and start designing something. Yeah. So Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com. It's a good place to start. <clears throat> the third one, and this is actually my favorite, so it's kind of weird that I... We put it three instead of four, but whatever. It's a website called Church Media Drop. Church Media now, Drop. Now, Brian, I don't, now that we have people that like yourself that are kind of learning this, yeah. that do more of these graphics and stuff, I don't know anything about Church Media Drop. Wow. Well, what a time to it? learn. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's a, Church Media Drop is a website that uh, different people can submit things to. They have uh, paid stuff that you can do, but they also have free sermon series that you can go and download. They have something like 10 or 20 or something pages worth, and they're just random ones from different churches that designers have made and sent in and you can pull from the cool thing about it as well and that aspect it's kind of like just going to these other churches that have these resources one thing they put in there if you're someone who likes to do graphic design is for most of them they have the photoshop files that you can pull from you can actually download the photoshop file and edit it to be what you want so you can look through these and see i really like the design of this but this isn't the title i want or i like the title of this but it's not the design i want or something and download the actual photoshop file and if you have photoshop then open it in there and actually tweak it to be exactly what your church is going to use instead of being forced to use it the way that they used it in the past. Mm. So it's a good resource if you're someone who likes to use Photoshop or wants mm. to design things your own. But this is kind of like where we're at. Like right. like to design it, but not good <laughs> enough to do it from scratch. So it's um, something that you can get something that other people have started, other people have made great things with and just kind of tweak it to make it to be what your church is going to use or what your church can use. Mm. That's great. That's great. Dylan hasn't used it before. I have not used it, but... It's a good resource. The fourth one <clears throat> is... It, and we've mentioned this in the past, but it's yes. been a long time, so you have to deep dive. I have no idea what episode it was. <laughs> but is the Church Communications Facebook page. Yes. It is on Facebook. It is literally called Church Communications. If you type that in, you cannot mistake it for anything else. It's the else. biggest one, so... Yeah, yep. it's got 10 or 15 or something thousand people in it. And this is... If you're watching this, just join it regardless of if you make <laughs> uh, series <clears throat> graphics. But it's great for graphics because you'll see in there people post... Um, graphics to get feedback on and people in, in there you have actual professional graphic designers right. and people that do this for a living giving honest feedback but you also have people asking I'm doing this series and I don't know anything about graphic design could anybody help me out and people were like legitimately make them a graphic yeah, people actually comment. do it for them <laughs> right just for doing it so I wouldn't say do that for every series because right. people will probably get really annoyed with you but it's a great place to look to learn a lot of stuff from communications in general yeah you have a lot of experience with it yeah I mean even if you're not a church communicator just a side note, you should yeah. join it to see what other people totally. are talking about, thinking through. But if you have questions about what something looks like, or you could even, you know, what churches have done a certain series, they tell you, you could ask user stuff. Just a great way to ask for help and people yeah. can give them, give it to you. Yeah. So regardless of where you are in the church, pretty much, I'd say almost any position in the church could benefit from So what would you say pitch. then, Brian, you know, we're almost two years in yeah. and when we started, we knew nothing and had all free stuff and now we're transitioning to learning more yeah. someone who's just about to plant a church and they're overwhelmed by all this stuff like they're about to launch what do they do what's the first step what should they focus on Where should they which go? one of these should they focus on i think the best way to start unless you're a graphic designer or someone who really wants to learn it is to start looking to other churches yeah. i think that's the i think that's the perfect place to start whether that's places like life church or elevation that put their stuff out online or 
if you have relationships with other churches, you mm-hmm. could literally ask them and say, "Hey, we're doing a we're doing a series on First Corinthians. I don't know what to title it. What have you guys done in the past? Right. You know, you don't have to th- act. You don't have to think. You have to come up with literally everything on your own. Yeah, it advice. seems like it's kind of like that's the order: ask churches, then Canva, then yeah. church media drop, and then start from scratch. Yeah, and then, <laughs> then when you're uh, want to get torn apart for making a bad design, then right. post it on there. <laughs> right, but yeah, asking people for help and yeah. it's a process, and you kind of figure it out as you go. Um, but this is also why it's helpful to plan your sermon series in advance. Oh, totally. Try to be more than like a month out because like, let's say you've got something you want to do and you ask a church, whatever, but you don't have any time for them to respond or, you know, you, you want someone to help you make a graphic, but they only have two weeks to do it. Like if you know, it's, you're going to do a certain sermon series in three or four months, you can start looking right away. And then your options are a lot more open than if you're next week i'm starting this new series and so trying to get a little bit more planned out in your sermon planning will help all these things work way better yeah and a good thing is uh if you know other churches in the area or people you have relationships with other churches meet whoever does it at that church not to try and get them to do free labor for you but everyone i've met that does this kind of job is always more than happy to give feedback on design if you're someone who wants to start creating it on your own give feedback, tell you what works and what doesn't. People are very open to that who are the more creative types. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. Well, you so, want to yeah, close us out? I'll close us out. Thanks for being with us again. The four free yeah. resources, Ask Other Churches, Canva.com, Church Media Drop, and then the Church Communications Facebook page. It's always a great place to go. It sure is. So thanks for being with us, practicalplanning.com slash questions. If you have something you want us to talk about in a future episode, and again, also check out our YouTube channel. We moved our videos from New City Church's YouTube channel to Practical Church Planning's own. We sure did. So they're all easy to find, and you can subscribe there. So thanks for being with us, and we'll be with you next time on Practical Church Planning. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Practical Church Planning. Whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube or Practical Planning, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, make sure you like or subscribe or do whatever it's telling you to do or should do on that platform. And hey, if you are so tired of looking at our ugly faces, but you're not tired of listening to our beautiful voices, Mm. then you can find our podcast. If you just search Practical Church Planning on iTunes or Google Play, make sure not to just find it, not just to listen, but to subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Brian, tell them to subscribe. Subscribe. See you next time.